Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you that how you can create collection slider section for your Shopify store. So this is specific for down theme. So if you have installed this theme then this video is for you. And I worked a lot on this uh, problem and finally I end up with the solution. So this is the custom section which you can actually copy and paste the code and then you are done. You have no need to worry about the code. Uh, for example you are a non-technical guy and you don't know about the coding so you only need to copy and paste the code and then it will work fine and you have no need to install any kind of app for this uh, feature because in most of the cases people are people are installing uh, apps and paying monthly fee of uh, 10 us dollar or maybe 7 us dollar so that is quite costly so this is the easiest solution for you so let's get started currently on my screen you already seen that this slider is pretty uh, attractive for your customers and images are already settled uh, in the proper place i mean uh, uh, width and height is properly adjusted and if you are uh, clicking on any of the collection then you will be redirected to specific collection products all right these products are under this collection 3 so uh, what i did is for example you can see that this is the collection and this is a simple collection all right uh, so here we have the collection slider this is the dummy store for me development store actually so first of all you need to go to your shopify store dashboard and here you can see that i have installed down theme and what you need to do is uh, you need to go to actions then click on edit code and here you will be getting some folders and files and uh, firstly i'm going to delete the file which i created before so you need to go to sections uh, then we have collection dash slider dot liquid so I already pasted the code inside of uh, this file. I'm going to delete this one. So how you will be able to delete? Actually, in the older themes, uh, you was getting the option of uh, delete on the top, but now this is updated and here we have the delete option. So you need to click on this specific uh, icon and then it will be automatically deleted. Collection slider, all right. So delete file. And now you can see that file has been deleted. All right. So one more thing I'm going to uh, do here is uh, you again need to go to the dashboard and here you should click on customize and from the customize you actually uh, will get this section. Here you can see that we have collection list, we have image banner and we don't have any kind of uh, section which is uh, giving us the feature of uh, slider. All right. So let's do the coding first. So you need to go to sections again, click on add a new section and here you need to type collection dash slider. That's it. Then you need to click on done. So now you can see that collection dash, dash slider has been created. And now uh, this is something which is like uh, the older code is already available here. I'm going to delete this one and let me save these changes. And if you are refreshing this page again, now you will no more able to see that collection slider here so what i'm gonna do here is i'm going to open up a file uh, that is uh, this one and here you here i have all the code i'm going to copy this whole lines of code and then i'm going to paste it inside of this file so this is the file of collection dash slider dot liquid so this is actually the section and i'm going to save these changes now I'm going to refresh this page. Here you can see that we don't have any, uh, if you are clicking on add section, we don't have any kind of uh, uh, collection slider here. All right, here you can see that. Let me refresh this page and now you will see the changes of uh, the current section, which is like uh, that section would be listed here. So here you can see that we have collection slider. So this is actually the older code and that is automatically uh, fetching the data. So let me remove this section. And now you can see that we have only collections and on the front end as well, we don't have any kind of uh, slider. So let's create a section from customize option. Click on add section. Then you need to click on collection slider. Here you can see that we have collection slider. This is the section which we have created just now. Click on it and then click on add collection. And here we have collection card. Click on select. So here we have a specific collection. In the same way, you can actually multiple, you have the multiple options to add all the sections. Okay. 
once you saved then you can see that this collection slider is automatically uh, over here if you are clicking on collection slider then you have multiple options here like for example you are interested to change the heading collection slider or maybe uh, you can also write here slider and you can see that title has been changed automatically so if you want you can also reduce the size of uh, this title I have already made it uh, medium we have different background for example accent uh, we have a different one and we have this one so whatever you want you can actually uh, use it and we have uh, this portrait adoptable and maybe you can actually put it square number of columns on desktop for example we have three if you are putting four then four columns would be showing in front but for now three are beautiful all right top padding so you can increase and decrease actually top and bottom so let me save these changes again and now let's refresh this page here you can see that we have collection and down below we have select uh, slider so you can slide it left and right and maybe you can also slide it by dragging from left to right and if you want you can also see it that how it looks in your mobile view so here we go now you can see that we have this slider you have beautiful product reflecting here all right so this is the one of the best thing which you are seeing here and one most important thing is like uh, you should go to the dashboard here so you need to close this and make sure that the name of this slider must be the same one i mean collection dash slider and if you you are clicking on any of the section for example this teddy bear and you will be redirected to uh, all the products which are under this collection so this is looking great now we have one more thing which is like uh, we have the background color of this these arrows so you can also change all these so here you can actually uh, find the green color which we have already written so here you can see that we have background green and this is previous and next uh, button that is arrows so now if for example i am writing here blue let me save these changes and let's see the preview click on preview and i'm going to close all those other tabs and here we go uh, maybe you can actually deep refresh and now you can see that we have blue arrows all right for example you want to make it white then how it will look you need to write here white and let me save these changes and let's click on preview once you are clicking on preview then you will see that we have the white background but we want the color of the arrow should be black so how it will uh, actually background color would be white and color of those arrows would be black for example and then you need to again click on save changes and then click on preview store and once this is refreshed then you can actually see here that arrows are in black color and background color is white so this is really beautiful if you want you can actually see it in the mobile view here we go now you can see that we have in the mobile view it is also working fine and the adjustment is pretty uh, beautiful all right so for example you have any problem you can actually connect me i have added the uh, contact details below in the description and the code link is also in the description you can click on that and download the code and copy and paste all the things which i have shown you step by step so this is really simple if you still face any issue then please contact me i will help you out in solving all these issues so if you have installed down theme if you have any other theme you can actually ask me i will definitely help you out in that uh, but for now uh, enjoy this video and uh, hope uh, that you will successfully implement this feature into your store because this is actually eye catchy and attracting your customers all right so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video thank you once again see you in the next video